Hi, I'm Picky Apricot, and I'm going to show you how to use the new email editor. Using the new email editor, you can design complex emails more easily with a more consistent and predictable appearance across different platforms, devices, and email readers. The new email editor is currently available only when designing manual emails and manual email templates. Designing an email with a new email editor is like using building blocks. You stack different kinds of layouts on top of each other to form the structure of your message. Then, you add your content by inserting different gadgets into the various cells within your structure. Depending on which email template you're using, you might already have some structure and content in place. Now that you have the structure of your message set up, you can start adding your content by dragging and dropping gadgets onto layout cells. There are different types of gadgets for different types of content. For example, if you want to add text to your message, drag a text gadget from the Gadgets panel and drop it where you want the text to appear. You then click the text gadget and start typing, or paste your text. For consistent results across different platforms and readers, paste only unformatted text. You can then use the options on the Text Editor toolbar to format your text. Instead of setting the text attributes separately, you can choose a predefined text style. When choosing colors, you can choose from a palette of theme compatible colors or select any other color. You can drop a gadget into any cell within any layout and add multiple gadgets to a single cell. To add a button to your message, drag a button gadget from the Gadgets panel and drop it where you want the button to appear. Within the settings for the button gadget, you can change the button label and appearance and link it to an external site or email address or to a site page or event on your Wild Apricot site. Within text gadgets, you can insert macros, allowing you to personalize the message with information like the recipient's name. To add an image to your message, drag an image gadget from the Gadgets panel and drop it where you want the image to appear. After you've dropped the image gadget, click the Insert Image button to choose the image you want to appear. From the window that appears, you can choose a picture to be inserted from the pictures already in your account, or upload one or more new pictures and choose one of them to be inserted. Within the settings for the image gadget, you can control the image's size and appearance and format it as a link. Currently, you can't wrap text around an image, but with some creative positioning of gadgets, you can approximate the effect. You can also adjust settings for layouts by moving your pointer to the left or right of the layout cells, then clicking the Edit icon. You can also add images to the background of a layout and to the overall message. Background images are not automatically resized to fit the area in which they appear, so you should resize your images to the column width before inserting them. You can link text and images to an external site, an email address, or to a page or event on your Wild Apricot site. In this case, we're linking to the unsubscribe macro. You can set the background color for gadgets, layouts, and the overall message. You can also add a divider to separate sections within your message. Within the settings for a divider gadget, you can control the line style, the line color, the line height, and padding. To provide separation between gadgets, you can insert a spacer though you can accomplish the same goal by adjusting the padding settings for gadgets and layout columns. If you want to display content beyond the gadgets we provide, you can add a custom HTML gadget and insert custom HTML code. 
To preview the appearance of your message, click the Preview tab. You can preview your message on both desktop and mobile devices. On mobile devices, content from multi-column layouts will be stacked one on top of another. With the content of your email complete, you can now finalize the recipients list and specify the email subject. Now, you can send or schedule your email. If there are any issues with your email that would prevent it from being sent, for example, no recipients or subject, the issues will be highlighted in red. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.